Yo, it's Wild 360 News, and right now we got Gilbert Arenas coming to the defense of Bronny James. Now, I was checking out Gilbert Arenas' podcast, Gil's Arena. They be having dope conversations on there. Y'all go check it out. Now, in this last episode, they were talking about Bronny's summer league performance and how he's being dragged on the internet and everywhere else for that matter. According to Gilbert Arenas, there is an agenda to put a spotlight on Bronny's performance, which is average at best. According to Gil, Bronny is being treated unfairly based on the expectations that the Lakers have for him. But I'm about to play this clip and I'll be right back, y'all. I just like it's like the, the expectations of uh, a second round pick is just ridiculous because they're using metrics that's not even is real. It's not real. Like at and this is how you know a narrative. They have him the 55th pick. They never signed a guaranteed contract. Why are you nailing it down to that number? How about just say second round? How many second rounders signed four year guarantee? Three of them last year. When was the last pick in the NBA draft? Right? He signed a four year deal for seven. There's three people in this year's draft that signed four-year guarantee deals. But he, you, you try to narrow it down to his his numbers so you can make him look bad. But no, he's not the highest paid player in the second round. There's other players. But because second round, no one knows about him. There's no coverage on him. It's easy to just point him out. It's like he's a second round pick. What do you expect? I expect him to play maybe 10 to 17 games this year, right? He'll probably get in 10 to 17 games, average half a point to one point, like every other second round pick. But that's right? thing. But now, in my opinion, against Houston at moments, Bronny was out there looking like a real NBA player, like this move right here. I got to keep it a buck, man. That was kind of slick. And I believe in the future, he could be a pretty good six man coming off the bench. Now, as far as what Gil said, he made some pretty good points when he started breaking down numbers and facts, comparing Bronny to other second round draft picks in the past and presently in this draft. But the catch to this situation is Bronny is the son of LeBron James. So there was a certain level of expectation from him coming in. But but after watching them play a couple games, most fans were disappointed based on those expectations. And I gotta keep it a buck, I thought he would be much better than what I've seen so far. So yeah, man, the spotlight is on Bronny James and it's not going anywhere. The best thing he can hope for is that he falls into a situation in a system with LA that allows him to highlight his strengths. And I think that'll happen because his father is LeBron James who basically runs the team. But y'all tell me what y'all think about it, man. Drop a comment, like the video. Wild360 News, we outta here, peace.